would you go on a gluten-free diet? Uh, well, what is gluten? You know, there's a lot of questions we have about that. What is gluten? It's a protein. It's found in grains, uh, wheat, barley, and rye. And most of us unknowingly love it. We love gluten. And I'll tell you why. Because gluten gives our favorite foods that special touch. It makes pizza dough stretchy. It gives bread its spongy texture. And it's used to thicken sauces and soups. So we love gluten. Uh, and why would, why would you even want to go on a gluten-free diet? Well, first of all, there's medical reasons you would. And the one I already gave you uh, an example, and that was my daughter, that she had to go on. And, uh, and there is a very serious disease for people who are allergic to gluten, and it's called celiac disease. And for, for someone who has celiac disease, they can have no gluten whatsoever, any little bit of it, and it's very bad for them. So gluten is in everything. It's in everything. Uh, and they even hide it. <laughs> it's fun with some fancy names, you know, or uh, use other names in the ingredients. Uh, but uh, pretty much, if you go in the grocery store, any uh, processed foods, any prepackaged foods has gluten in it. So if you're going to go on a gluten-free diet, you have to learn how to read labels. And you're just going to have to do that. And you've got to accept that. But, um, so, how, what kind of problems does it cause? Well, uh, it causes a re immune reaction. It damages the small intestine, which causes gastrointestinal distress, nutritional def deficiencies. If untreated, it can lead to intestinal cancers and infertility and osteoporosis. And those are the people that are really allergic to gluten, okay? Uh, but what if you just have a sensitivity to it? Well, a lot of the symptoms are the same as celiac disease. Gluten sensitivity can lead to similar uh, symptoms such as stomach cramps, diarrhea, bloating. Um, but unlike celiac, it, it doesn't damage your intestines. Now these are, and when I mention these things, these are chronic. It's not a once in a while you get constipation or diarrhea. Or, it's a chronic thing that's happening quite often. And you're going, what's going on? Okay. Uh, now, some people have latched on to avoiding gluten as a cure-all for many of the conditions aside from celiac, including migraines, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome. Okay. And, um, and then there's the idea that a gluten-free Diet is a speedy ticket to weight loss, which we're talking about here. And it really is. You can lose weight going on this diet. Uh, and I'm going to present it to you, how, that, how you can do that. And that's, it, the choice is up to you whether you want to do that or not. A lot of what you read out there will say, well, it's not proven. You know, a lot of stuff is not proven. Uh, but what's happening is that doctors are seeing so much more of these symptoms in their patients, autoimmune diseases. They're seeing so much more of people having these um, allergic reactions, and they're not knowing how to treat it. And so uh, they are finding out that it has to do with gluten, uh, but I will take it even further. Okay, I'm going to go even deeper than the gluten when we're talking about that. Um, if you do go on a gluten diet, you have to replace what you eliminate with healthy, nutritious alternatives. You can't just, let's say, eliminate bread, eliminate you know, uh, pizza, bakery products, anything made with, with gluten, uh, and not replace it with something because you're going to rob your body of nutrients that you need. So what you have to do is find out, well, what do I replace it with? Now, I went on a gluten-free diet because I read this book. And after reading it, finishing it, I said, I'm going to try this and see what it does for my symptoms, which I uh, told you about earlier. 
Well, since I've done it, since I've gone on this diet, those symptoms are gone. I don't have them anymore. Okay? So that's my personal testimony. Now, in the beginning when I first started it, uh, I did what I just said. I eliminated a lot of things from my diet, but I wasn't replacing it with alternatives. At least not enough, because I work out, and I work out three days a week, and I'm very active physically. I need food. I need the protein. I need, you know, uh, um, you know enough uh, food to, to, you know, make up the difference. But anyway, so what I ended up happen happening to me is I lost weight. And I can't afford to lose weight. <laughs> Now, I'm naturally thin. It's in my genes, okay? So if I lose five pounds, that's a lot for me. And that's what I lost, five pounds. So um, I said, okay, i got to do something about this. So I started doing my homework. I started to replace what I had eliminated with good stuff, good healthy grains and uh, uh, other things, fats, good fats. There's good fats and there's bad fats. And um, I'm gaining that weight back. And I've got energy. And uh, it's been great. So, um, What are some of the things you eliminated? I mean, name something that you eliminated and what you replaced it with. Okay. Well, for one thing, uh, the obvious is bread. Okay. Okay, bread. And then that would also include any other wheat products, like waffles Pasta. and... Mm -hmm. and and uh, pancakes and uh, pasta, okay? Um, they're all made out of wheat. And so you have to replace it with something. So I'll give you an example. This is a gluten-free bread. It's made by Udi's, okay? Udi's makes it. They, they have uh, many different flavors. They have wheat, they have white, they have cinnamon. And what they've done is they've eliminated wheat from it. Um, and, they, and they have to replace that gluten with something else in order to get the consistency that you want to make bread. Okay? So what they replace it with is um, brown rice flour, tapioca starch, potato starch. Now for you, you might... I'm not meaning you. Yeah, you, I know. But for all of yeah. you, you might say, well, I don't even want the potato starch. So you might have to look for another kind of gluten-free bread that doesn't have the potato starch in it. And you can't get those. Okay. okay. And how many calories are you talking on here in carbs and fats? and? Right. Okay. For this particular one, uh, total carbs is 22 grams. Okay. And um, let's see, calories, 130. Okay, so in other words, per slice. pardon? That's per slice, yeah. That would be per slice. Oh, no, two slices. Yeah, serving size, two slices. So you'd want to limit yourself to two slices, right? Let's say, yeah. because That's you, your particular case. Okay, now I will have. You know, I'll have a sandwich, sandwich with this for lunch, let's say, I'll, and I buy lunch meat, but I buy boar's head, which is nitrate and nitrate free, has no GMOs in it, right. has no gluten in it, okay? So, um, you can eat, he says, you can eat cheese, you know, you can eat good fats. Um, Coconut oil is a good fat. Olive oil is a good fat. Avocado. Um, avocado is very good. Yes, it's very good. So I replaced that. Um, 